Hi, my name is Linry, and this is Can I Do That? This is a series on my channel where in a collection of over 400 nail polishes, I ask myself, do I have a dupe for that? Today, I'm going to be attempting to dupe out Hala Taco's newest limited edition collection, their royalty collection. I'm not quite sure what this collection is called. I just checked the Hala Taco website and it just says the secret is out, but I know this collection is based around detectives and figuring things out. This was basically a love story to the Hala Taco detectives. But first, if you enjoy nail polish related content or someone who's just doing shenanigans on the internet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean oh so much. And thank you, thank you, thank you to the people who have already hit that button. So I'm gonna bust out my magnifying glass here and see if I can dupe these out. I don't know why we have a magnifying glass in my house, but we do. So again, I am trying to dupe out Hollow Taco's newest collection. These are all limited edition shades, but I wouldn't panic too much. The last time Hollow Taco did a royalty sale, the polishes were available for quite some time. I believe they were still available five months after they released. So Hollow Taco has been doing a really great job at making sure their collections remain available. So before I start this off, I do have some rules. I am not allowed to mix polish. I cannot mix a blue and a red to get that perfect purple. It has to come out of the bottle. I am allowed to layer polishes, so I can use all my sheer polishes, all my toppers to try and achieve a look. I am allowed full access to my collection. That means I am allowed to grab my limited edition polishes and ones that are discontinued. I must stick to the same exact swatcher. This is done mostly for my sanity because if I start browsing a bunch of other swatchers, everyone has different lighting, hand poses and whatnot, and it just becomes a extreme burden upon myself. So I must stick to the same exact swatcher. And this time I will be targeting the brand owner. Now, I also have a point system because adding points to things makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> so I ask myself a series of questions. If I get a question right, I get a point. If I get a question half a right, I get half a point. <laughs> it's my game, my rules. You didn't tag me. I have force field, okay? <laughs> so my first question is, does it match the vibe of the collection? Does it have the same exact feel? Does it match the vibe of the polish? A polish vibe and a collection vibe are two different vibes. That's four, but whatever. Does it match the color? Does it match the undertone? Does it match the finish? Was I able to achieve that magnetic? <laughs> no. Does it match the depth of the finish? I can put a shimmer topper on top of a creme, but it'll never have the same exact depth as a shimmer based polish. Does it match the visual texture? Did I get that flaky bomb down? And the most important question of all, can my colorblind fiance see the difference? <laughs> Again, I will be attempting to dupe out Hollow Taco's newest collection, their royalty collection. This is a set of four different polishes and oh, thank you for the small collection, Jesus. I'm getting tired of these like eight piece collections, these nine piece collections. Yo, that's too many. <laughs> Give me the fives, fours and threes, please. Good Lord. The first polish that is up is Blush Money. This is a soft baby pink with a dense, glitter in it that I believe all those glitters are hollow. It is hollow taco. That would make sense. But the jelliness of it kind of cancels out the underlying hollow glitters. So it gives us this unique texture. Let's see how I did. On my thumb, I used China Glaze's Totally Taffy topped with LA Color Sunray and Hollow Taco's Scattered Hollow Taco. This was okay. I feel like I got that texture down but that pink became a lot more muted and I lost a bit of the brightness that Blushed Money has. On my middle finger, I used Color Club's Hot 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 Pants topped with LA Color Sunray and Hollow Taco Scattered Hollow Taco. Again, like I'm just not getting the color. I'm getting the visual texture, but Hot 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 Pants is just too peachy in its undertones. It's a very bright and lovely color, but not quite it. On my ring finger, I use Sally Hansen's Insta Dry One Polish Ah uh, Ah uh, Ah. Uh. <laughs> I felt like Sunray could, cause it had, Sunray has like a pink 
shimmer running throughout. So I was hoping it would bring out that pinkiness that One Polish has. One Polish is a lavender purple, but it's like touching. It's touching pink, but it didn't bring that out. And on my pinky, I used China Glaze's Dance Baby topped with LA Color Sunray and Hollow Taco Scattered Hollow Taco. We're a bit too pinky. We're a bit too, like we've lost the dustiness that Blush Money has and I feel like it just didn't work. But what I settled on, on my pointer finger, is Color Club's Girl Gang topped with Hollow Taco Scattered Hollow Taco and LA Colors Sun Ray. I felt like this combo had the dustiness that I was looking for and actually when I swatched this out live on stream, which thank you guys so much for <laughs> coming to my live streams, uh, I guess I will continue to attempt to do things live because those VODs are getting insane, like, versus my other VODs, they're getting, like, double the views. So I'm guessing there is genuine interest in watching me do it live, so I will continue to do that. Don't worry. <laughs> but on my swatch wheel, I thought China Glaze's Totally Taffy was going to do it, but my undertone threw it off and made it a lot more baby than I wanted. <laughs> Let's see how I did, Jesus. Um, me, my curse of being an over-explainer. Does it match the vibe of the collection? Yes. Does it match the vibe of the polish? Yes. Does it match the color? No. I said no, the color just wasn't there. But does it match the undertone? Yes. I got the undertone, not the color. Does it match the finish? I think I was fully able to achieve that peppery texture that this polish has, so yes. Does it match the depth of the finish? I'd say yes again. Does it match the visual texture? A uh, yes. And the most important question, can my man see the difference? He couldn't. <laughs> Get fucked, bitch. So that means Color Club scored a grand total of seven Woo! points. Woo! How do they compare in cost? Well, Polo Taco's Blushed Money retails for $14 USD, where Color Club retails for $8.50. LA Colors, this was again difficult. I couldn't find the LA Colors limited edition polish online, but it is still available at my local Dollar General. So I'm just rounding up to the maximum I have seen in LA Colors, which is $3. And Scattered Hollow Taco retails for $13, bringing my dupe to a grand total of $24.50. The next polish that is up is Spyglass. This is a soft baby blue in that crushed hollow formula. Now, crushed hollows don't photograph that well, so I'm not seeing those asymmetrical glitters. I am seeing the hollow sparkle, but that's just about it. But let's see how I did. On my pointer finger, I attempted China Glaze's Cuba Diving, topped with LA Colors Neptune and Hollow Taco Scattered Hollow Taco. I felt like this was a bit too Cinderella in its blue. I think it's a beautiful combo and I'm very excited to just kind of wear this straight up, but it's just a bit too Cinderella and I'm looking for more of a baby shower blue. On my middle finger, I tried Orly's Having a Smeltdown topped with LA Colors Neptune and Hollow Taco Scattered Hollow Taco. Again, another stunningly beautiful combo, but I felt like that shimmer was just too powerful and I lost all the texture, I lost anything, and it just kind of got drowned out in that shimmer. On my ring finger, I tried a Mimi polish on stream. One demanded it and I'm like, you know what, fuck it, let's do it. I tried Sally Hansen's Insta Dry Blue Chick, which is a textured polish. <laughs> topped with LA Colors Neptune and Hollow Taco Scattered Hollow Taco. I felt like the color was there and topping this with a bunch of things, I lost the texture of the polish. The color was meh, not quite it. We go back to the drawing board. And then on my pinky, I tried Hollow Taco's Sparkling Water topped with LA Colors Neptune and Scattered Hollow Taco. I felt like this gave me a bit of the texture I wanted, but it just, I lost all the color and I was kind of trying to chase more of the color. And I forgot to live swatch this live, so so sorry to the person that wanted to see this combo, uh, but here it is now, so hopefully you're watching right now. <laughs> I also tried using a Hollow Taco Crushed Hollow, which is Hollow Taco's highest bitter, 
topped with LA Colors Neptune and Scattered Hollow Taco. I felt like Neptune just didn't bring any of the blueness it was bringing on the other blue polishes and it kind of made it a little bit more purple and just it didn't really work. Texture was there but I was seeking more of color. But what I settled on on my thumb is Color Club Meet Me at the Rink topped with LA Colors Neptune and Scattered Hollow Taco. I felt like I got that baby shower blue down perfectly, but I I did falter a little. I have now a purple shimmer in it. What are you gonna do? Let's see how I did. Does it match the vibe of the collection? I said no, it just kind of didn't feel it. I don't know. You can't explain a vibe, you know? It's just there or not. Does it match the vibe of the polish? Yes. Does it match the color? Yes. Does it match the undertone? Half a point. I gave myself half a point just because I, this shimmer throws it off, but I feel like I got there with the color. <laughs> Does it match the finish? No. Does it match the depth of the finish? No. And does it match the visual texture? No. And most importantly, can my man see a difference? <laughs> he couldn't. <laughs> I thought he'd be able to see the difference right away. Nope. I win. <laughs> so that means Color Club scored three and a half points. How did they compare in cost? Well, Hollow Taco Spyglass retails for $14. Color Club's Meet Me at the Rink? I couldn't find on Color Club's website, but I found it on Walmart for $7.50. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to double check and make sure it's still on the Color Club website because this is my tried and true go to blue. <laughs> LA Colors Neptune. Again, couldn't find it online, but my local Dollar General still has it, so round up $3. And Scattered Hollow Taco, $13. Bringing my dupe to a grand total of $23.60. The next polish that is up is Spoil Me Royal. <laughs> now, this is one of the polishes I did pick up. Um, it's stunning, it's beautiful, it's everything, and it reminds me of my grandmother, so yay. <laughs> my grandmother loves this tone of purple, so mwah. So for this, I went through actually two rounds of swatching because the moment I topped this polish, my first swatch, every single one looked the same. I had a hard time discerning them on my nails. So just for sanity's sake, that way I don't have these watch, uh, wasted swatches, I will show you at the end them all looking the same. <laughs> but they all look the same when they were topped with Zoya's Tamiya. Tama? Tamiya? Tama? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> On my thumb, I tried China Glaze's Spoil Me Royal topped with Hollow Taco's Smoke Show and then topped with Hollow Taco's Anti Hero. I'm so sorry. I'm working with what I have. This was okay, but that graziness of Smoke Show kind of peeked through a little bit and didn't bring that punch I needed from the purple. On my middle finger, I tried Color Club's Follow Me, topped with Hollow Taco Smoke Show and Anti Hero. This was a bit too deep. I needed a bit more brightness. On my ring finger, I tried Zoya's Jessica, topped with Hollow Taco Smoke Show and Anti Hero. <laughs> this gave me a bit more royal purple vibes, but it wasn't quite there. And on my pinky, I used Hollow Taco's flash drive, topped with Hollow Taco's smoke screen, topped with Hollow Taco's <laughs> anti hero. Again, this just wasn't bright enough. That purple didn't carry through as much as I was hoping, so not a dupe. But what I settled on, on my pointer finger, I used LA Colors Culture, topped with Hollow Taco's Smoke Show topped with Hollow Taco's Anti Hero. Honestly, I feel like this was pretty fucking close. I feel like I got it. Unfortunately for me, I didn't get any squared glitters on my exact swatch. So, um, we'll talk about that in a second. But here is all of those colors I just discussed topped with instead Zoya's Tama. Tam Tamia. Tama. Tamia? Tamia. <laughs> Life's a nightmare when you have hard time reading comprehension. <laughs> yeah, they all kind of look the same, 
But I like the Skittle that gave me. It made me feel very witchy. Like this is going to be a fantastic Halloween Manny. So I'm very excited. But they all just kind of looked very samesy. And it was just like, I'm having a hard time differentiating. <laughs> Let's see how I did. Does it match the vibe of the collection? Yes. Does it match the vibe of the polish? Yes. Does it match the color? Yes. Does it match the undertone? Yes. Does it match the finish? Yes. Does it match the depth of the finish? Yes. Does it match the visual texture? Yeah. And. Can my man see the difference? He could. That bastard. <laughs> he actually specifically noticed that I did not have square glitters. If I had gotten one, just one stupid little square on my swatch, I would have done it. Now. So that means LA Colors scored a grand total of seven Woo! points. How do they compare in cost? Oh, good lord. Okay. LA Colors Culture off the Walgreens website retails for $2.95. And then... Two limited edition hollow tacos. And one was from a very long time ago. <laughs> hollow Taco Smoke Show resales for $25. It wasn't that popular of a polish, so a little bit of a saving grace. Hollow Taco's anti-hero. Now, I couldn't find this. I could not find a reseller of this because a bunch of skateboards kept popping up. And even though I kept, like, you know, putting in quotations, nail polish, Hollow Taco, whatever, the name of the polish, skateboards just kept popping up. The closest I got was to seeing the price of Life in Plastic. So I'm just going to assume Life in Plastic was the most in-demand polish. Christine had already shared that information. So I'm just going to say, at the top, Antihero will set you back $50. Bringing my dupe to the highest cost I've ever fucking seen, $77.95. Woo. That sounds like a bargain. <laughs> Please do not pay $50 for nail polish. <laughs> Good lord. The next polish that is up is Teal No Lies. <laughs> and if you know anything about me, you know this was instantly added to cart. Are you kidding me? I believe this is a new formula from Holo Taco as it does not carry the same exact visual texture as their frosted metallics it looks a bit finer and i am in love i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait i just i want it i want it i want it this is a beautiful teal just shiny metallic bomb this was an absolute joy to try and dupe out let's see how i did on my thumb i used hollow tacos never tied down topped with zoya's carla Charla. <laughs> On stream, I struggled pronouncing this polish for some reason, and then I said it too much, and now it's just gone into the universe. I don't know where this name has gone, and uh, help. <laughs> I don't know what happened. This was so beautiful. Oh my god. But not what I needed it to be. Those flakies were a bit too big. So back to the drawing board. On my pointer finger, I tried Color Club's Teal for Two, topped with Zoya's Carla. I didn't have the texture, but I had the beauty of this turquoise on my nails. Mwah. <laughs> on my middle finger, I tried LA Colors Giddy, which actually LA Colors Giddy is on my uh, right hand right now. <laughs> topped with Zoya's Clara. Again, this is beautiful. This is stunning. This is everything I want, but it's not a dupe. And on my pinky finger, I tried China Glaze's Noodle, topped with Zoya's Clara. I was just lacking the texture, but not the beauty. Good lord. <laughs> but what I settled on, on my ring finger, Holo Taco's gift receipts, 
topped with Zoya's Clara. Perfection. It's beauty. It's everything. I love it oh so much. But let's see how I did. Does it match the feel of the collection? I'd say yes. Does it match the feel of the polish? Yes again. Does it match the color? Yes. Does it match the undertones? Yes. Does it match the finish? Yes. Does it match the depth of the finish? Yes. Does it match the visual texture? I said no. Because those flakies, you can tell, in Teal No Lies, are much smaller. So I said no. Don't ever accuse me of not being brutal on myself, okay? <laughs> and can my man tell the difference? He couldn't. <laughs> Woo! That means I scored seven Woo! points. Let's go. How do they compare in cost? Well, Hollow Tacos Teal No Lies retails for $14 USD, where Zoya retails for 12. <laughs> Wait for a sale on Zoya. Actually, when this video goes up, Zoya will still be having their Earth Day sale. So if you are interested in Zoya, they're 50% off right now. <laughs> that is a much better price to pay. But I do believe Zoya's Black Friday sale is a lot better. So if you can wait till Black Friday, maybe wait till Black Friday. Hollow Taco's gift receipts retails for $14 USD, bringing my dupe to a grand total of $26. So overall, the lowest I scored this time around was three and a half points, which was my dupe attempt for blush money. Every other attempt, I scored seven points. Out of a possible 32 points, I scored 24.5, bringing me to an overall percentage of 67.56%. Not bad. I'm getting a lot better. I'm starting to feel a lot more invigorated by how I'm scoring nowadays. <laughs> but yeah, that was my dupe attempts for Hollow Taco's newest royalty sale collection. What did you all think? Did you pick up anything during the royalty sale or any of these polishes from this collection? And if you have any dupe ideas in the comments down below, please, please let me know, especially for Teal No Lies. <laughs> That's my kind of polish, baby. <laughs> I always look up polishes in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean oh so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. This gave me a bit more royal. This gave me a bit more royal. Ro ro